everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a jean haul. I have been getting a lot of requests to do a affordable jean haul. And to me, affordable means under 100. So I have partnered with Buffalo Jeans on this video to bring you my favorite styles from their collection. And they are all under $100. Plus, I had gotten feedback on choosing more jeans that aren't necessarily 100% cotton because I totally get it. Some people have more sensitive skin and you'd like some comfier jeans. So that is gonna be included in this haul as well. So let's get going. All right, so first off, we're gonna start with these high-waisted black skinnies. I have been getting a lot of requests to find affordable, really good shaped ones, and these ones I think fit the bill perfectly. So these ones do sit right under the belly button for me. They are truly high rise, I would say, and they do have a longer inseam. So they're not cropped, so for people who are taller and have trouble finding long enough skinnies, I feel like these would probably do the trick. Plus they are raw hem, so I probably will be cutting these in the next couple weeks when I decide on what length I actually want. Probably cut them about an inch so that they sit right above my ankle. So the beauty of these jeans are that they have lycra and tensile in it. So they are super stretchy. Lycra makes it long lasting and able to keep its shape after washes. And the last thing you want with skinny jeans, especially black skinny jeans, is for them to kind of sag weird. And then tensile makes the fabric super sturdy and also is a sustainable fabric. So these jeans do have a zipper fly and the pockets in the front are real. I think that's important to note because sometimes you get skinny jeans where the front pockets are fake. These are real. So the back pockets are also plain, which is so good. And all it has is this little tiny Buffalo logo, which I don't mind because you barely see it. So the other thing that I would note is that these are true black skinny. So there's no fading. It's all one shade of true black. And I feel like those are usually the most flattering black skinnies because sometimes when you go into fading, it kind of hugs you in the wrong spot or accentuates parts that you don't want. But an all black skinny is always a must have piece in my closet at least. Because I picked all of these jeans online, I wanted to shop their other pieces too and I kind of stumbled upon the men's section as well. And I'm obsessed with the jackets there and I ordered two of the jackets. So this is one of them. This is a denim jacket with patches because I have been wanting one for a while. I haven't found one with like patches that I liked and I didn't, I just like haven't found my own patches to customize one yet. So I ordered this one to check it out and I am obsessed with the fit. So it's a little bit longer because it is a men's jacket. I obviously rolled up the sleeves because I do that with women's jackets anyways. I really like the shape. It's super straight and long. It's not like too bulky. The other thing I would note about this jacket is that it does have the undertone of the green denim that I love so much. So you've seen some jeans that I really like that really look like nicely worn. They always have that undertone of green in the distressing, which this jacket has. So yeah, it's so good. I'm obsessed. All right, so next up are these white jeans. They are basically like paper bag pants. I think that's what they're called, but these are jeans. So I think that they provide a little bit extra support because they're thicker. And I'm loving the fact that they are like a boot cut. They're not exactly flare, so I find that they're a little bit more flattering on more body types. So you can see that they have an exposed fly and then it has this cute little denim ribbon up here. It flares out like the very traditional paper bag style. It has back pockets, it has front pockets. I think it's super flattering. These are super, super high waisted. So like my belly button is here. They end right under my rib cage. So I'd say if you're looking for super high waisted white denim jeans, and this is probably it. I really like how they fit. I think they are super flattering. They're super stretchy too, which is so important. Overall, I think these are really great summer jeans. I think that a lot of people will find these super, super comfy. I also think that the super high waist is super fun for summer because then you can wear those crop tops without having to really show your stomach because it will actually probably meet with a lot of crop tops here. The other thing with these jeans are that it does have another raw hem. So I can also cut these if I want them shorter. I probably wouldn't because I think that they actually hit me perfectly right at where my heel is. And if I wanted to wear like a little bit of a higher heel, then they would still allow me to without looking too short. But for those of you who are a little bit shorter, you can totally just chop them off without worrying how they will fray because they are actually made that way. All right, so I also want to talk about the shirt because I'm pretty excited about it and I feel like maybe you guys might like it too. Um, this shirt is a men's t-shirt. I really love the distressing and vintage look of it. 
and I'm loving like the type font plus a little detailing here. And the back reminds me of my Harley vintage tee and I just like really like the vibe of it, especially paired with these jeans that are like a little bit girlier. I like the toughness of this tee and it's so soft and just super easy to wear. I feel like it is a good like modern vintage style shirt alternative if you can't find that perfect vintage tee. So next up I'm going to talk about these super fun jeans. I actually would not have expected myself to like these as much. I kind of got them to show you like a less classic pair of jeans. So these are blue with like white pinstripes. They do have a little bit of fading on it, which I think makes them look cooler because it makes them look like they're worn, potentially could be vintage. They are a mid-rise. I also think that the crop is perfect. They end right where my ankle is. And just to show you up close, although they look like they are raw hem, they are stitched at the bottom to kind of keep it from fraying too much because I think that you don't want too much fray at the bottom, especially with like this pattern already on the jean. So this jean does have a zipper fly button, true pockets in the front. You can see that there's a little bit more fading in the thigh area. So you can see from the side that the stripes are aligned. So it does look quite flattering on. The pockets don't have more design because otherwise it would be super, super like busy up here. So I think my favorite part of these jeans are the cut. I think that they're super comfy, like very stretchy too. Like I said, none of these jeans are 100% cotton. So they will be so comfortable on, especially in the summer when the last thing you want is denim that's just sticking to you and doesn't stretch. So yeah, if you're looking for a more fun pair, this is probably the one for you. All right, so these are probably one of my favorite pants out of the haul because of the color, the shape, and just the comfiness of them. There is over 30% lyocell in this and 3% elastane, so it really feels like I'm wearing sweatpants, I think. And they are mid-rise, so like for those of you who don't necessarily love high-rise, these might be the jeans for you because they still look they're a little bit over mid-rise, but not quite there. So you'll get that look without actually having to be in a high-rise jean. Plus these ones are quite cropped, so more cropped than other jeans that I have tried that are called cropped before. So for those of you who are a little bit shorter and are having trouble finding cropped jeans, these ones might fit you perfectly because these ones are almost, almost like a capri for me, but not quite, which is why I love them because it still gives you that long length showing your ankles, but without cutting you off too high and stunting you basically. So this one does have a zipper fly. You can see my belly button's like right here. So definitely true mid-rise. It is cream. It's not quite white. So the pockets are plain too, which is pretty flattering when you're wearing white jeans, especially. I just really love the shape of these pants. I think that they are so on trend, especially for the season and also just very, very easy and chic. And I'm just going to talk about this t-shirt too because I always get questions from you guys about my plain tees. Surprise, surprise, this one is pink. I thought that I would add a little color into my wardrobe, especially now that it is spring summer. So I do really love the neckline of this shirt. It's not quite a crew neck, it's a little bit wider. Plus it has some distressing on it, so it's adds a little bit of character, a little bit of like a tougherness because it is a pink shirt. It is just super flowy. It's a little bit cropped, but not quite. I can still tuck it in very easily in the front and have it hang out in the back without like my belly button showing. So check it out if you're looking for an easy tee. So another trend that I am obsessing over this summer is the Hawaiian shirt trend. I totally understand if it's not for you. I'm sure I will get some comments about people being like, what are you talking about? But this is what I'm loving right now. And Buffalo Jeans actually has the perfect one. So. This is a women's shirt, just to make it clear. I am loving how flowy it is. It is like a high-low shirt, so it is higher and more cropped in the front, super long in the back, and I'm loving that it is like this red-white color, and it goes really well with these cream pants. So I love how the shirt has two different patterns, the super red, very Hawaiian one, and then the white one that's a little bit more feminine, but the super oversizedness and like flowiness of the shirt makes it very masculine and I'm loving it. This is like the perfect combination of like a feminine masculine shirt, especially in the material. It is like a super, super comfy, silky material, very breathable, very perfect for summer. I am so obsessed. So this is what the shirt looks like tucked in. 
It's super comfy. I think that I will probably be living in this outfit like all summer. It's just super, super easy to wear and so comfortable. I hope I'm convincing you all to buy Hawaiian shirts too. These are the next pair of jeans. These ones are the last pair. I saved, I think, the best for last. These ones are really classic distressed denim. They are a mid-rise. They kind of look like a low-rise, but they definitely fit like a mid-rise. They're very comfortable. Like I don't feel like they're about to fall off or my butt crack's gonna show. I'm really loving like the distressing detail. Like the denim jacket you saw before, they do have like a tinge of like that green undertone that I love so much, which is why I think the distressing looks so good. Plus for the length, they sit like perfectly right at my ankle. Like I don't need to cut them at all. So I wanna show you this distressing detail on the bottom. A lot of the time when distressing goes down to the bottom of the hem, once you cut it a little bit, like if you're shorter, then you lose it. But actually these have it like all the way to the top here. Overall, I'm really, really liking these jeans. I think that they are a great addition to my denim collection because I don't really have anything that is skinny and distressed quite so good. A lot of my distressing jeans are a little bit looser. So if you're looking for a good pair of skinny distressed jeans, I highly recommend these. Plus they're super comfy. They're not 100% cotton. You can definitely lunge in them. So let's talk about this shirt really quickly. I'm so impressed with how amazing Buffalo Jeans has like kind of evolved because I haven't shopped there in a while and that's probably why you haven't seen a haul from them. And I just want to also quickly talk about my partnerships because I feel like I've been doing enough partnership videos now that I feel like we should have a little chat. So just to let you know, like when Buffalo G's emailed me asking me to do a haul with them, I was like kind of hesitant just because I hadn't shopped from them in a while. And so I was like, okay, let me just like go online first, make sure there are even pieces that I like. And I was so surprised. So like I literally shopped I think I tried on all their, almost all their jeans in their collection in this video because I liked them all so much and I wanted to see what they looked like in person and the quality actually was a lot better than I was thinking that it would be. And then I actually kept shopping, you know, I even went to the men's section, I got some men's jackets and shirts. So just to let you know, like I only work with brands when I know that I will enjoy their pieces and I know that you guys will enjoy their pieces. So that is like the first step of when I decide if I'm gonna work with a brand or not. It's if I think that it will bring value to you guys by watching a video, whether it be reading a blog post or looking at an Instagram post. So just a little explanation of the major processes of how I decide to work with brands or not. So yeah, I hope that that explains it a little bit in terms of how and why I choose to partner with some brands if you are confused sometimes. But yes, let's continue talking about this shirt. It is so cute. Like look at this really pretty detailing. It has tiny little buttons, little flutter sleeve. I think it's just so cute to go with jeans. You can dress it up with a skirt. Very, very cute summer top. All right, so there's also this sweater that I really wanted to show you quickly. It is a tie-dye sweater. I've been trying to find a tie-dye sweater that like didn't overwhelm me. And I'm loving that this one is like a blue and creamy white one because it goes so well with jeans. And it's like a lighter weight terry. It's very, very comfy to wear, especially for summer, just to throw over things. Like if you're even like at the beach, just to have this in your bag, I think would be super, super cute. And I also like that it's like the same as that pink t-shirt. It's a crew neck, but not too tight. It still gives you some room for your neck and I think it's more flattering this way. Also, I'm really loving the length of it. It's not exactly cropped, but it's not too long where like it hits under your hip. It lets you have that like hip shape still, but also have like that comfiness being able to like raise your hands without your stomach showing. So I saved my favorite jacket for last. This is the last men's piece I will show you today. This is their camo jacket. I am obsessed with it. I love the high neck. I love this camo color. There's not too high of a contrast. Plus it also has its own little patches. It has some deep pockets so I can fit my phone, my wallet in it. Like I don't even have to carry a purse sometimes, which is what I love. I also love how long it is. It goes over my butt. So it really does like elongate and give you that super masculine shape. And it's a long masculine shape. It's not like a super wide one, which sometimes is an issue when you buy men's clothing. But this one is such a good shape that I think that it will look really great on a lot of female 
body shapes too. All right, thank you so much for watching my Buffalo Jeans denim haul. I hope that you found that helpful. I know a lot of you have been asking for affordable jeans and these ones are all under $100 and they are really good quality. So like I had been struggling to find good quality denim that was under the $100 mark and that's why I hadn't been able to do one of these hauls yet. So I'm super happy that I got to work with this brand and to show you that good quality denim that is affordable and accessible definitely exists and they're super stylish like I think that these jeans are going to be in my closet for a very long time specifically this like distressed blue denim skinny because it's really hard to find a good distressed denim skinny and these ones are like just that but if you have any questions definitely leave them in the comment box below I will link all the items in the description box as well so you can shop them and read more about them and if you like the video like the video subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram and I will see you very soon